Hi everybody, welcome to a resistance flexibility class. We're gonna do 16 kinds of stretches a day, eight for your lower body, eight for your upper body. After that, you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe to our webpage, thegeniusofflexibility.com, and get over 200 videos with all different levels of doing all these kinds of stretches. Also, on January 16th of 2016, you can buy my second stretching book, which is called Cooley's Resistance Flexibility. And we're really lucky, actually, to have Oprah's trainers here with us today. Luther, Bonnie, Noel, and Roger. Okay, let's try the first stretch. I want to try the first stretch here, Noel. We're going to work on muscle groups on the outside of your legs. Let's try this, everybody. So these muscle groups on the outside of the legs, you're now in a position that elongates them, so we need to stretch them. We need to contract them to get a stretch. So if you keep pushing down with both of your legs into the ground, you'll contract those muscles that have been stretched in this pose. These muscles are for the gallbladder in Chinese medicine. And in genetic personality type theories associated with making better decisions and being more devotional. That's great. Let's try it on the other side. Again, make sure you keep your hip pushed over to the side that you're stretching. Both legs are pushing down into the ground as you're stretching these muscle groups out on the outside of your thigh and lower leg. They come right up the side of your body and going into the side of your head. You should get a great stretch on the outside by contracting these muscles as you push down into the ground. Yeah, that's great. Okay, Bonnie, let's try the second stretch. These muscle groups now are balancing. We just stretched muscles on the outside of your body. Now we're going to stretch muscles on the inside of your legs. So you'll start with your legs together and you're squeezing your legs together. That contracts the muscles we're going to stretch. And as you continue to contract the muscles, you'll open your legs. Let's do six or eight of these, Bonnie. Again, as you squeeze your legs together, the muscles will contract. And while they're contracting naturally, you'll open your legs in order to get a stretch in those muscle groups. Those balance the muscles we just stretched. All the stretches we do are for balancing muscle groups. Yeah, that's great. Thanks, Bon. OK, everybody, let's try to stretch out the muscles groups in the front of your chest associated with the lungs in Chinese medicine. You want to move close to the wall. And now push hard into the ground with your hands. Push the ground away from you. As you step up the wall, and as you go up onto the wall, kick against the wall to contract the muscles on the front of your body that you're stretching. Leave your head up and arched. And as you do that, your arms will externally rotate. They'll rotate this way. Your elbows will come towards each other and come on back down. Let's try two more of those. Here we go again. Ready? Up. Push your arms away. Leave your head up the whole time. Keep your head arched. Let your hips stay high, please. Push hard into the wall with your legs to contract the muscles on the front of your body. And then come on back down. Just one more of these. These will build your endurance. Here we go once more. Push up. These are for your lungs in Chinese medicine and associated with empowerment and the truth. Arms are externally rotating. Legs are kicking against the wall to contract the front of your body. As your head arches up, keep your head up, and then come on back down. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah that's great, everybody. Right. Hey, Luth, let's try the pose for the muscle groups on the back of the shoulder. Want to try this? So you're in a kneeling position, everybody. Your feet are about the width of your hips. Your opposite arms across your other leg. As you push away with this arm, the other hand's going to bring it and bring it underneath of your hip on this side. That way you get to stretch out these muscles on the back of your shoulder here. Let's try that again. So as this arm is pushing out, as you keep pushing out there, you're going to stretch out these muscles. These are contracting while you're stretching them. Your leg is pushing against your arm. Let's try it on the other side already, Liz. Yeah, here we go. This arm's pushing away, and while it pushes away, you're bringing it in, stretching these muscles. This is associated with the large intestine in Chinese medicine, and in personality theory, it's associated with being 
serene and completing things that you've started. That's great. That's great, Luth. Thanks, Emil. Okay, let's try the next stretch. Let's stretch out muscle groups on the outside of your thigh that's associated with the stomach in Chinese medicine. Okay, so we want to move back against the wall and let one of your lower legs be up on the wall and then lunge into your front leg. Right, so you'll be lunged into your front leg. And while you're lunged here, I need you to kick your back knee up towards your chest, kick your leg against the wall, and as you do that, push your body back with your front leg. That will stretch out the muscle on the front side of your thigh. Let's try that again. Slow up, Bonnie. Push against the wall. Keep pushing. Keep kicking your knee up towards your chest, and you'll get a stretch right here, and it will start to come right up the front of your body. Let's try one more on that side. These are associated with the stomach meridian in Chinese medicine and in genetic personality type theories associated with sobriety and self-expression. Let's try the other side. Yeah. So you're really kicking your knee up to your chest. You're pushing your lower leg into the wall. And as you do that, you move your body back so it elongates the muscles that you're contracting. Yes, if you feel them with your hand, you might even get a better stretch. You want to feel your quad with your hand while you do that. Then you can feel the muscles stretching. Keep pushing your body back with your front leg. And once more, start forward again in a lunge. Kick your knee to your chest. Push your lower leg into the wall. And as you push your body back, you'll stretch out the muscles on the front of, outside of your thigh that come right up your body and circle your mouth. Yeah, really nice stretch. Okay, that was really great. Let's try the stretch for the inside back of the legs. Luther, want to come on up and try that? So you're lying on your back. You want to grab your outside of your foot with the arm, the same leg that you're going to stretch. We're going to stretch out these muscles on the inside back of your leg. So you want to feel them with your hand. As those muscles contract and pull your heel down towards you, lift up. So your leg's fighting you. These muscles are contracting while you're lengthening them. This is your medial hamstring now, right on the inside back of your leg. So as they contract, they pull your heel down. And as your muscle contracts, you lift it up with your arm. You'll get a great stretch here. Let's try one more of those. This is associated with your pancreas and with communication and being peaceful. OK, great. Let's try the other side, Luth. So again, you want to feel it with your hand. That allows you to get more information about your stretch. And as this muscle contracts and pulls your heel down towards you, you're going to stretch this muscle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very nice stretch. Uh -huh. Let's try one more of those. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's how you do that. That's great. Thanks, Luth. Mm -hmm. Next stretch is against the wall again. OK, let's try to stretch the muscles on the front of your chest that go out into your arm that are associated with your heart. So you want to turn around and go up onto the wall. Let your arms be up on the wall here. I'm going to stretch out your heart meridian in Chinese medicine. So you push hard into the walls if you're bringing your arms down towards your waist. And as you do that, you want to arch your head and bring your body into the wall, just the same way you see animals stretch all the time. Let's try that again. Bring your body back away from the wall. Here we go. Push hard. You're contracting the muscles on the front of your chest that go down your bicep into your little finger. It's associated with the heart in Chinese medicine, associated with being unconditionally loving and taking just the right action. And one, let's do two more, Bob. Those are so good. Help yourself push into the wall. Keep pushing into the wall. Arch your body as you go in towards the wall. And one more of those. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Reminds you of a cat stretching. It's fabulous. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Roger, let's try the one for your small intestine on the back of your shoulders. Want to show everybody that? Let's try this, everybody. So we're stretching these muscle groups out here. When they contract, they bring your arms out to the side. 
So as they contract, you contract the muscles in your chest in order to cause your arms to come together and you stretch these muscles. So you're pushing out really hard and while you push out to contract these muscles, you're gonna bring these in. These muscles are associated with your small intestine and makes a person creative. Yeah, let's try it again. Let's do four or five more. Roger, those are great. Looks like an easy stretch to do, but you get the greatest stretch here and it'll give you a much more erect posture and gives you much better digestion in your small intestine. Uh -huh. Just one more. That's great. Uh -huh. Cool, that's great. Uh -huh. Okay, let's try a stretch now for the muscle on the back of your leg, very back of your leg. Noelle, wanna kind of help do that? So it's important to feel the muscle again with your hands. So as you're feeling this muscle and it contracts, it's gonna to try to pull your heel up towards you. But while it's making that contraction, you'll use your back leg to pull you backwards. So you're stretching the muscle you're feeling here. Here we go again. Your heel's really pulling in towards you as this muscle contracts. And while it contracts, you're gonna lengthen that muscle as you bring your body back. Let's try that again. Here we go again. Keep pulling your heel towards you, uh -huh. and we get a stretch. Let's try it on the other side. That was good, Noel. Uh -huh. Again, you're contracting this muscle and keep pulling your heel towards you, and while you're pulling your heel towards you, your back leg pulls it back. Uh -huh. Yeah, just do one more of these. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Roger, let's show the next stretch. I want to show stretch for the muscle on the other side, the balancing muscle, your hip flexors on the front. Mm -hmm. So you want, to be, you want to be folded back in this direction first, and while you're folded back, and you're contracting these muscles here, while your knees try to lift up towards your chest, bring your body forward slowly, and you'll stretch this muscle out. This has to keep feeling like your knees kicking towards your chest in order to get a stretch. You're not just lunging, you're contracting to try to keep the front contracted while you lunge forward, and that will stretch out your muscles on the front of the hip. This is associated with your endocrine system, and it's associated with putting you in really good moods all the time. Here we go. Everybody needs that, of course, yeah. Let's, let's switch sides already, Raj, yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, you can see as Roger's contracting the front of his hip on that side by lifting his knee towards his chest. While he keeps lifting the knee towards his chest and resisting, he's then gonna go forward in a lunge position. Yes, uh-huh. Yeah. Let's do one more, actually, yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah, thanks. Bonnie, let's show the next stretch. Let's go after the pericardium, the muscles on the front of your chest. Everybody, you're going to start by being seated. Let your legs be out in front of you. They can be straight or long, however you like to do this. We're stretching out the front of your chest, so we want you to feel like you're really pulling your arms up towards you the whole time. But while you're pulling them up, they're going to go behind you as you raise your body. So that's to stretch out these muscles in the front of your chest. You can do it with a bent leg or a straight leg, whatever works good. Here we go again. Again, you're always lifting your arms forward, squeezing them together, and as you do that and lift your body up, it lengthens these muscles in the front of your chest. Yeah. Let's try a couple more, Bonnie. These are great. Let's do three more of these. Yeah. Really important, these muscle groups are associated with the pericardium, the lining of your heart that determines the blood flow in your body. And psychologically with genetic personality type theory, it's associated with being open-minded. Let's do one more, those are great. Uh -huh. Those are great, thanks Bonnie. Okay, let's try another stretch now for the muscles on the back of your shoulder. It's associated with your skin and with stress. 
Let's remove the stress. Okay, if you want to stand on up and go onto the wall, put one hand up on the wall. Let your body lean forward into your arm first. And now start to push your arm against the wall hard and start to lean back as you stretch out these muscles on the back of your neck and back of your shoulder. And then pull your body forward again into a starting position. And again, be striking back with your arm. And while you're doing that, your body weight going back will stretch those muscle groups out. That's associated with your skin in Chinese medicine. Yeah, that's right. We're stretching all of these out there. Mm -hmm. This in personality theory, this is associated with a person taking on challenges and developing community. Let's do two more. So let's start forward and then while forward, push hard and pull your body back to stretch out the muscles on the back of your shoulder. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. And one more of those. Here we go. Again, please keep dropping your body backwards to stretch out these muscles here. Goes right into your neck and head. That's great. OK, great. Let's try the next stretch for your lateral hamstring. Roger, you want to do that? Let's show people this. This has the largest amount of dense fascia and scar tissue no matter where you are in the world. So this is the most important stretch of all stretches to do. So you want to grab your foot with your opposite hand from the other side of your body and let your knee be really wide. And now as your knee pushes sideways and resists, you're going to bring your knee across. And as your hamstring contracts and pulls your heel down, you're going to lift your leg up and across your body. Cool. Let's try that again. Let your knee start out to the side. Keep pushing sideways while, with your knee while you try to bring it this way. And while your hamstring contracts, this is your lateral hamstring. It's associated with your bladder. You'll lengthen it by crossing your leg across your body. Let's try one more on that side. In personality theory, this is associated with being very hopeful and self-esteem. Cool. Let's try the other side. That was great, Raj. Uh -huh. Again, it's the opposite arm, opposite leg. Uh -huh. Let your knee push out to the side. You know how to do it. Leave your leg up here. Thanks. Here we go. Now your hamstring, your lateral hamstring is contracting to pull your heel towards you while you lengthen it out. This is the muscle being stretched. Uh -huh. Let's do two more. Yeah, really important to push your knee across your body so, you, so your thigh rotates internally. Uh -huh. There we go. That was better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how you do that. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah, fab. Thanks, thanks, Raj. Yeah. Now, well, let's try the next stretch for the muscles that balance that on the inside of the leg, the kidneys, in Chinese medicine. Yeah. So you want to hold on to your ankles, and you want to squeeze your knees together as much as possible. And as your knees squeeze together, you open them with your arm. Make sure you keep squeezing. We're stretching out muscles on the inside of your leg, and keep pulling your body forward when you do that. That's right. Let's try it again. Mm -hmm. We're going to do five or so of these. Squeeze your legs together. You're going to stretch these muscle groups out on the front inside of your body while you tip your pelvis forward and bring your body forward. The squeezing and contraction of your legs is what gives you the stretch. Here we go again. Squeeze in with both legs. Keep squeezing in as you open them with your arms and pull with your hands to pull your body forward. These are associated with your kidneys in Chinese medicine and with having a good sense of humor. Let's do one more. Yeah. Yes, really nice. Keep squeezing the legs up while you open them. Keep resisting with your legs. Yeah, that's really great. OK, thanks. Uh -huh. Thanks, Noel. That's great. Yeah. Let's stretch out the muscles on the, on the back of your body that come right up the front and go right up to the front of your face. It's associated with the appendix in Chinese medicine. So you want to lie, move back towards the wall and lie back on your belly. And you can let your knees be bent to get a little close to the wall. And then turn your arms underneath of you and put them under your body if you can, palms down. And as you push hard into the ground with your arms, you want to lift your body off the ground by bringing your legs up onto the wall. Keep pushing hard with your hands into that. And then come on back down. 
Mm -hmm. Let's try it again. So walk up the wall, let your hips be high, push down. This is associated with the appendix in Chinese medicine. And in GPT theory, it's associated with change and integrity. Really strenuous stretch, great stretch for the front of the throat and chest. And then come on back down. And last stretch, really important. We want to stretch out the muscles on the back of the shoulder. These are associated with your internal immune system and with removing trauma. So you want to move back against the wall a little closer and roll back on your back. Let the back of your hips be really close to the wall. Let your arms be above your head. And then bring your hips up off the ground. And now you want to push your legs against the wall. That's going to drive the force into the back of your neck and shoulders to cause a stretch. And then contract your abdomen as you roll your body down. That's right. So you keep pushing against the wall. You keep pushing your arms above your head. And that will stretch the muscles out on the back of the neck and shoulder. That's associated with your thymus, tonsils, half the function of your spleen, your internal immune system, and psychologically in the GPT theory with healing and diet. Let's try it again. You're up. You're pushing hard. That weight that you're creating by pushing against the wall is coming into the back of the neck and shoulders to spread that out. That stretches those muscle groups out as they go down the back of your arm. And your arms are pushing away. Let's do one more. That was so good. So you're both pushing your legs away from you and pushing your arms away from you as you contract your abdomen and roll your back down in spite while keeping a curve in your lower back. That's our 16 stretches. Hope you go up to our webpage also. And there's 200 stretches, all different levels of difficulty for all these muscle groups. We would love for you to see our training archive on our webpage, thegeniusofflexibility.com.